Hello, friends. Today, we're going to be reading the story, Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away. And this is a story about two best friends, and one of them is moving away. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. And this story is by Meg Medina and it's illustrated by Sonia Sanchez. Evelyn Del Rey is my mejor amiga, my numero uno best friend. Come play, Daniela, she says, just like she always does, just like today is any other day. So I bundle up and cross the street. A big truck with its mouth wide open is parked at the curb, ready to gobble up Evelyn's mirror with the stickers around the edge, her easel for painting on rainy days, and the sofa that we bounce on to get to the moon. She is waiting for me inside the iron doors. Then we climb the steps, two at a time, just like we always do. We sneak past grouchy Mr. Miller's door and wave to Mr. So, who's feeding pigeons from the hall window. Senora Flores gives us each a cookie and says, it's the big day when we walk by. Our apartments are almost twins, just like us. That's why I already knew all the good places for hide and seek and the spot behind the heater where we keep our special finds. But the walls in Evelyn's room are sunny yellow, while mine are pink like cotton candy. And I live with my mommy and my hamster, and she has a mommy, a poppy, and a cat. We are mostly the same, just like our apartments, but not after today. We find a still empty box near the door. In no time, I am a bus driver steering us all over the city. We play until the tables that were bus stops are gone and the beds that were skyscrapers have vanished too. When we look around, everything has disappeared except us. Soon, the truck outside rumbles off and there is a knock on the door. Hide, we say giggling, just like we always do. But our mothers see us before we can slip away. Time to go, mommy says. Evelyn and I hold hands in that wide, empty space. We lean back and start to spin in circles, faster and faster, until everything is a blur around us. Our fingers slip, 
but we don't let go until we wobble to the floor. We can talk every day after school, I tell her, though the world is still whirling. And you can visit me this summer, she says, and spend the night. But I know that tomorrow, everything will be different. Evelyn will be in a new home that doesn't match mine. Before we leave, I spot something in the corner left behind in the dust. It's the last of Evelyn's sparkly stickers. We go downstairs and I press a heart on her cheek to seal our promise. Then she does mine just the same. We say patata while mommy takes a photo. We do our secret handshake one more time. And then Evelyn hugs me hard. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away, so she won't be right here anymore. Look how sad they both are. Oh my goodness, they're both so sad. Mommy says not to be sad, that we will both make new friends. But when Evelyn waves one last time, the sticker's still on her cheeks, I know she will always be my first mejor amiga, my numero uno best friend. The one I will always know by heart. Looks like she's all grown up now and still writing letters to her friend. Do you have a best friend? I do. Why don't you think about writing them a letter or drawing them a picture just to let them know how special they are to you? <laughs>